right, next we have Dooler, who's the DC area queer activist. Hey everyone, um, so I wanted to address the uh, slogan that's been going around about Bradley Manning uh, being a gay hero. And as a queer activist, as someone on the trans spectrum, as a genderqueer person, I have some mixed feelings about this. Um, so I'd like to express the radical notion that war is a queer issue, but, but Bradley Manning being queer is a non-issue. Right. Ultimately, Manning's sexual orientation and gender identity are completely irrelevant in this case, and, and the focus on his queer and possibly trans identity has actually detracted from the real queer issue. Yep that our military is being used to promote and push forward an imperialist and neoliberal agenda that is damaging to people all around the world, <laughs> including and perhaps especially non-heterosexual people. Through military invasions, sanctions, and drone strikes, our government is punishing those who refuse to fall in line. People are being killed, queers and trans folks included. Furthermore, these acts are being justified through the rhetoric of gay rights, as the shift in global discourse about how we judge other countries has gone from the woman question to include the gay question. The question of how other countries treat their women has become, how well do you treat your homosexuals? And this question has been used to wage war, deny aid, or impose sanctions without examining how women and queers are treated in this country. Manning is important to the LGBT movement, not because he's queer, but because he brought home the realities of war. He complicates the mainstream gay agenda by exposing the atrocities of the U.S. government, forcing us to have a more nuanced approach to gay rights than the right to serve. The ways in which the mainstream gay movement celebrated the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell is contradictory on several levels. The mainstream gay movement celebrated the facts that gays and lesbians were now able to serve openly in the military without acknowledging how U.S. military presence negatively impacts the lives of gays and lesbians in the countries we are bombing. The mainstream gay movement celebrates gay and lesbian service members, but abandoned Manning when he attempted to show the true face of war. In fact, the celebration of the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, while intending to be a mark for equality, has had the effect of enforcing a policy of Don't Ask, Don't Tell for our government. Don't ask about the impact of our foreign policy, and don't tell about our violations of human rights. Manning's trial and alleged leaks would be a queer issue whether or not Manning was gay. But the fact that he is just makes him more of a convenient scapegoat. If Manning wasn't queer, I hope there would still be queer folks invited to speak, because it would still be a queer issue. Woo!